dear lovable friend hope you stay fine with my 25 years experience in the field of psychology today i thought of talk to you on the topic life skills what is meant by skill if i am giving you a new piece of information that will be a knowledge for you where you can use that knowledge when somebody will be asking you about that or when you find somebody who is not aware of all those things but a skill is different skill is a capacity or ability that we acquire like you learn how to swim how to drive a vehicle there was a time you may be sitting in the bank of a pond putting your leg in the cold water and feel the coldness and feel like uh, how nice if i can swim but for swimming you just have to jump into water uh, somebody should be there to help you support you and make a practice and the day will come when you will be swimming without the support of anybody that is skill the skill is something like a capacity where the cognitive capacity will be like a learning in the brain and about life life is something very difficult to define and i i'm not able to do that but still just think where were you before taking birth into this world where will we go after your death studies say that the elements that is there in the body uh, that is already there in this earth and uh, this is just like a state and in the organism we are receiving certain kind of a duration so what is life skill life skill is something related and we began to think about life skill when who was being concerned about the increased number of hiv positive cases in youngsters and there was more statistics related with aids related death like that studies were conducted worldwide and it was found that if we have certain kinds kinds of abilities we can withstand the peer pressure which will be leading to this kind of unhealthy conditions the studies extended it was found that if you acquire life skills that will be very helpful for us in our personal and professional life so there comes the core life skills and today i am talking about that when we think about uh, people that you know sometimes we feel that uh, how they are behaving like this they are educated but in behavior something like uh, it's not as expected like no suppose you talk to a few standard boy we will get astonished to see that what all things they know they'll talk about plants animals maybe food chain and we'll talk about organization and we'll say that i have done projects i have i am doing a, a seminar and things like that but even when you reach up to the post doctoral level nobody will be asking you what kind of a person you are which means that it is very difficult for us to look into oneself and see what kind of a person we are we think about life we can see that life is impossible for human beings without the support of science just to cut an umbilical cord we are in need of a blade at least which was a raw material in the earth and that happens to become a weapon or a kind of supporting system when that happens to go through human intelligence through number of people when we think about being independent understand the fact that that is something impossible for us we just have to understand the need for culture the need for togetherness then only human beings can just live and move on just to understand these kinds of things we understand what we are it is very difficult to look at oneself and see what strength we have what are limitations we have how we can understand the social surroundings and utilize our capacities over there that is why who call this skill as a mother skill when we have self awareness that help us to develop into many other kinds of skills suppose some of your friends or colleagues talk about their issue 
you are such a nice fellow so that what you think is okay i can console them i can advise them i just have heard about certain things so that i can narrate certain things so that so as to extend them to life of course those kinds of things are very good but suppose you have a pain in your stomach occasionally it is coming it is disturbing you what will you decide you will decide to go to an expert where you are in need of the highest level of technology you need a scientific diagnosis you need a painless treatment is it what you intend for what happens when you put yourself into that position the things are changing that is another kind of very important social skill which can be called as empathy it is very difficult for us to put ourselves into the shoe of others but when that comes things are different while talking about empathy today during through whatsapp and all uh, you might have heard about number of narrations and uh, advices related with empathy development studies also they say that empathy is not a kind not a kind of skill which has to be uh, flourished in a very high level and see that that is very wonderful no over empathy response also will be harmful for us and studies also say that functional mri study says that our brain has got a system which is quite differently working other than empathy and lead to theory of mind which means that uh, we can do certain kinds of support kind of uh, extension when theory of mind has to be developed so even when you talk about empathy it has to be understood scientifically too okay are you listening me yeah you just do as i say you just raise your right hand wave like this okay keep your hand straight now fold your small finger uh, ring finger middle finger and thumb only four finger pointing upwards okay bring your hands down and touch your chin see how many of you are touching your chin you are touching your cheek right okay even when we are communicating even when you are listening see especially teachers and parents have to listen to the fact that you know people will be reading not simply our words we are communicating in a number of ways so that communicating effectively that is the another kind of life skill uh, many a time when we deal with analysis of cases related to sexual harassment and all we could find that it is not a stranger all on a sudden coming to the person and doing that kind of harassment it might have started even very earlier the victim is not communicating thing effectively it's not simply lack of communication capacity it is not communicating effectively and there comes the importance of assertive style of communication or different varieties of communication and all and many of you know that you no know, assertive communication is something if you have an answer the communication also should be but really bringing it out that kind of content itself so some people say that saying no is assertiveness but it is not saying no to do your duties saying no to your responsibilities when somebody is violating your right then you have to say a no and people you also used to ask is this the only way to communicate no there are different styles of communication like aggressive communication passive style of communication is that something needed very much needed when the nature create anger that is highly needed for us anger help us to self protect anger help us to fight against certain injustice there are situation where we have to passive sometimes we have to obey because that will be our responsibilities and duties that will be the need of the hour sometimes you will be taking into consideration the relationship as more important so that we may not be asserting ourselves so things are different we should be able to understand different styles of communication and selecting accordingly okay you may have a favorite teacher why do you like that teacher the most people do not say it is because of the subject expertise alone they say that the teacher has got a gentle kind of behavior she or he approaches me very nicely she just look into my eyes 
and I know that you know some kind of warmth is coming, things like that. That is nothing but interpersonal relationship skill. That is highly needed for uh, for the social beings and extending our social responsibility. We feel that we have interpersonal relationship skill, but there are so many kinds of social aspects that will be influencing us just like of gender discrimination, some stereotype that will be there in our life. We feel that uh, certain kinds of others, mm, so-called others, cannot come closer to us. To what extent they can come? Sometimes even because of the religious beliefs, we are detached by from many parts of the society, many groups of the society that affects our uh, kind of secularism and social behavior. Then I come to the thinking skill. That also is very wonderful, uh, thinking critically and creatively. How far we are jumping into decision? That is, is that increasing our complexities in life? Of course, the life will be a series of failures and conflicts. Sometimes we feel that we just have to escape from conflicts. Do conflicts have any benefits? Of course, it has benefits. It has benefits in the personal, familial, and organizational con context. When there will be confl conflicts, we can understand the fact that the parties engaged or the participant has equal rights to open up their opinion and come to certain kinds of negotiations. Only when the conflicts are continuing, we are think about certain kinds of other interventions. Or else, even in organization, when we think critically, the conflicts will be bringing us to certain kinds of negotiations, strategies and plans, which has to be continued in the further development. So thinking critically is highly needed, and that has to be a quality or a capacity for ch children and adolescents so as to face their crisis in the life. And but when we think about creativity, People used to say that, oh, that person is dancing, oh, and another person is singing very well, and he is also painting very well, but I don't have that kind of creativity. See, critical thinking is something different. If you think out of box, if you have a new unique style, if you are becoming individualistic, that shows you are crea having creative thinking capacity. And studies say that almost everybody has creative thinking capacity. We just have to identify that, facilitate, and come to your own style of expressions. About decision making and problem solving, that has to be developed like a skill. From childhood onwards, if we are getting an opportunity to engage in family budgeting, considering certain kinds of issues, facing certain issues, that will work like a behavioral vaccine. Like that, that will be there in our character and can be utilized whenever necessary. So only when we are encountering with the situation, these kinds of skills can be developed. And still another group of skills are called as coping skills or management skills so that we can deal with the crisis, deal with the difficulties, deal with the different kinds of uh, encounters easily when these skills are being developed. Those are coping with emotions and coping with stress. Well, how we get different kinds of emotions? The emotions has got a biological basis, it has got a hormonal basis and we have no control over it. So how can we control our emotion? Is it something possible? The expression of emotions can be controlled. It can be learned. The teacher may be having so much, so much aggression and will be just like uh, crushing the baby, but will be saying that, oh, come on, why don't you do like that? Because the situation demands that. The job situation demands that. Even when we are in the organizational setup, when we are working, what happens is, the situation demands certain kinds of control of our emotions. And this is just like we are doing an emotional labor. We are getting salary for controlling our emotions too. And that is highly needed in the social interactions. About stress. What is stress? If you feel that your resources are not enough to face certain situation, that leads to certain kinds of imbalances. Certain changes in the homeostasis. That is called as stress. 
and stress will be having a number of causes it can be biological physical or psychological your guilt may be working or it can even be social so study says that this is quite inevitable we cannot just escape from stress so stress have to be managed we are not thinking about eradication of stress but management of stress isn't it so how can we manage stress of course when a stress is there the cause has to be identified and just see whether cause can be addressed or not that is the first thing we have to do and there are two ways of stress management it is called as problem focused approach and emotion focused approach a mother who identified that her baby is he hearing impaired she is highly depressed she thought about a suicide but after some encounters she says that oh i thought that uh, this baby is from god god might have thought that why this lady has to be selected as the mother god has a purpose he might have seen some kind of qualities in me that is by that is why this baby is given to me so the thinking differs the management differs nothing is going to happen for the situation but the way the person thinks the cognitive restructuring will be working so as to face the situation in a better way so sometimes it can be emotion based management but when a time we can also think about a problem focused method where the reason has to be found out uh, the reason has to be addressed the reason can be sometimes your ageism the reason can be sometimes your perfectionism the reason can be certain kind of gender bias that you carry you identify that at and try to address in some way or the other that has to be the mechanism why you are talking about a yoga or a stress management technique like relaxation or meditation is that the technique that we have to use when i think about public in general i never support these kinds of system that can be done by an affluent society very well but you think about the society in general people are there working in the agricultural sector or in the construction sector or they they are running for their daily wages or they are laborers do you think that these kinds of techniques can be done the people will be having their own personal style of dealing with stress some people say that i'll just sit and relax for some time i'll just drink a coffee i'll just go for walk i'll just move away from the situation i will call my favorite friend i'll be sometimes going to beach and just watching the um, waves for some time all these are different styles of stress management people select for they themselves very personally so these are the techniques that will be working wonderfully if you find a person having high stress and their daily life is highly affected out of it you just refer that person for a professional support of course therapies are available for which stress management can be addressed at the same time when we take talk about all these different kind of skills don't think that this is a kind of uh, skills which will be leading us to victory and we will be encountering with competitions and things like that when we think about application of these skills understand that this is becoming applicable only in a social context your attitude is important as our social responsibility is important how we are socially aware is important then only the skills will become meaningful